السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ سٹوری نمبر تھارٹی نائن دی ٹائٹل ایز یانگ مین فلیٹ دی کیب یانگ مین فلیٹ دی کیب سی اسٹوری ایبوٹ سم یانگ پیپل And this story is also mentioned in Torah. <clears throat> and all the Torah scholars around uh, Medina, they used to know this story. And Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was in Mecca at that time. And Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was illiterate. He did not know even how to read or write or not even writing his name. So everybody knew that there was no way that he could read from some book. And also in his society, they used to live together, they used to know that he didn't have any teacher to learn from. So when Quraysh leaders were trying to do everything to prove that Prophet Muhammad was not a real prophet, they were trying everything. They were looking for every little fault or opportunity. They were trying hard. And part of their trial, they sent two people to Medina. Medina to talk to the Jewish scholars to give them some advice that how they could try on Muhammad peace be upon him whether he was a real prophet or not. So those scholars they said you go and ask him three questions and only a, if he is a messenger of Allah then only Allah would inform him and he can answer, otherwise he cannot. And one of those three questions was that go and tell him and ask him that can you tell us the story about the young man in the cave? Can you tell us, tell us the story about the young man in the cave? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa he didn't know. So he was waiting for the answer, and the answer came. Answer came in chapter 18 in Holy Quran. And Allah told them the detailed story. And also at the same time, Allah gave them through that story in the context of Quraysh and what they were doing, Allah gave them also lesson to learn. And also, Allah made this story as a lesson for entire mankind. So the story is very long, but because of the timing, I will only go through only few highlights, insha'Allah, <coughs> if Allah wills. So let us begin from chapter 18, verse 9. When people of Mecca, Quraysh leaders, when they asked Prophet ﷺ to tell this, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Am hasibta anna ashab al kafi wal raqib. Wal raqim kanu min. Do you think that the companions of the cave and of the writing on the stone were wonders among our signs? Of course, it is Allah's sign, wonderful signs. إذ أوى الفتية إلى الكهف فقالوا 
Allah says, when the young people took shelter into the cave, then they prayed to Allah. فَقَالُوا رَبَّنَا They said, O oh, our Lord, رَبَّنَا آتِنَا مِن لَدُنْكَ رَحَمَ They prayed to Allah, O oh, Allah, O oh, our Lord, آتِنَا مِن لَدُنْكَ رَحَمَ Give us from you your mercy. وَهَيِّئِ لَنَا مِنْ أَمْرِنَا رَشَدًا إِنُوا اللَّهِ إِنُوا اللَّهِ وَهَيِّئِ لَنَا إِنْ جِبْ أَلْ دَ فَسِلِتِي فَرَاسِ وَهَيِّئِ لَنَا مِنْ أَمْرِنَا رَشَدًا إِنْ facilitate everything for us or take care of the things in our lives for us Rashada in the right way so they were believers in Allah and they prayed to Allah for giving them the ability and giving them mercy so Allah says Allah gave them what they wanted. Allah accepted their prayer. فَدَرَبْنَا عَلَىٰ آذَانِهِمْ فِي الْكَحْفِ سِنِينَ عَدَدًا فَدَرَبْنَا عَلَىٰ آذَانِهِمْ Therefore, Allah says that we drew a bill over their ears. We put them into sleep. We put them into sleep. Fill kafi in the cave. Sinina adada for a number of years. How many years? We are going to find out later. So now let us hold a bit in the stage. Because I cannot go through all these verses because long verses. So in between I will you know give you pushing so you know it will be easier to understand. They they were the actually they were young people and they were the true follower of Musa alayhi salam. They were young people from a particular country. And they had a king. He was an idol worshipper. Entire nation was idol worshipper. And once a year, with the government help, they used to celebrate a day or a few days. Once a year they used to celebrate. In the celebration they used to organize big, grand idol worshipping. And also they used to sacrifice animal for their idols. And the king, the government forces used to force everyone to attend there. And everyone to do the ritual there. Otherwise if anyone disobeyed, then the government is to punish them severely. Each young man, they fled away from their country and they fled into the jungle. There they met one another. They identified one another and they realized that they came for the same reason to get away from the idol worshipping from the wrong thing. When they identified that they became friends 
they built a small place for prayer but eventually the message of their prayer spread it it leaked went to the king and king put pressure on them to give up their faith and to go back to the idol worshiping so let us start now from that from that stage allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying chapter 18 verse 13 we start from there now bismillahir rahmanir rahim nahnu naqussu alayka nabahum bil haqq allah says we let you know their story in truth innahum fitiyatun amanu bi rabbihim wa zidnahum huda here allah is revealing who they were allah says inyahum innahum fitiyatun namanu bi rabbihim they were youths who believed in their lord so they were believers they believed in one allah they were following the true teaching of musa alayhi salam wa zidnahum huda in allah said that we increased their we increased guidance for them and this is allah's law universal law if anyone take a step towards him then allah comes up with two steps allah comes forward with two steps towards that person to help him to guide him so they believed in allah and allah also guided them increased their faith courage motivation etc when they were pressure pressured by their king by their government allah assisted them allah says warabatna ala qulubihim id qamu id qamu fa qalu rabbuna rabbus samawati wal ard lan nad'a min قد قلنا اذا شططا الله سين وين ديوار اندر بريشر الله رب العالمين put courage in their hearts الله فهم دا كاريج ان ذير هارتس سو دي بيكيم كاريجيوس and they stood up with their courage and they said rabbuna rabbus samawati wal lord our lord is the lord of the heavens and of the earth our lord is allah he is the god for the heaven and the earth he has created all these things and he is maintaining all these things so we will only worship allah no one lan nadu'a min dunihi ilaha and we shall never call upon any god other than him o nation o my government o my king you can put any much pressure on us as you want to but we have firm faith on allah and we will not call any other idols any other gods beside allah laqad qulna idan shatata and if we call any other gods beside allah then it will be a extreme bad thing extreme crime against allah 
And that's how they were bold and they made their point. At that stage, they were making consultation among one another. That what they needed to do. So I'm cutting the story short, just the highlight. So they made the consultation between one another, they, what they had to do. Analysis. What they had to, Allah says, Allah describes it in the Holy Quran in the next verse. Chapter 18, part 16. وَإِذِ اعْتَزَلْتُمُوهُمْ وَمَا يَعْبُدُونَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ When you turn away from them and the things they worship other than Allah. So they were advising one another that, hey, when you don't want to follow their way, and you don't want to worship other than Allah, anyone or any idols other than Allah, then the best thing would be Fa'u ilal kahf. Come up yourself to a cave, a secret place, a place for hiding. So at least we will be saved there, and we can pray there to our Lord, our Allah, safely. Yanshur lakum rabbukum mir rahmati. And on top of that, your Lord will bless his mercy on you. Because you are not compromising with your wrong society. Because you are not surrendering to the pressure of the wrong of the society. And for your devotion and dedication, Allah Rabbul Alamin will bless His mercy on you. Yanshur lakum rabbukum mir rahmatihi wa yuhayi lakum min amrikum mir and Allah will take care of things in your lives towards comfort and ease. So that's what they did. And truly, Allah took care of their, their things. They arrived in a cave tired. And they lie down for resting in the flat space of the cave inside and Allah put them into sleep. Allah removed all the anxiety, all the stress away from them. They were sleeping and sleeping. Every day, time to time, angels were turning their sides so that their skin will be intact. They were sleeping in a miraculous way. They were sleep sleeping, but in Quran Allah said that if other people, if anyone would have looked at them, would have seen that they were weak. Their dog was sitting on the entrance, was sleeping also. But if anyone would have looked at the dog, would have seen the dog is awake with fierce face. And anyone would have been scared and ran away. Allah was protecting them. The days came, the days went away. The nights came, the nights went away. That's how, how long they were sleeping for. How long Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us the answer in the Quran, how long they were sleeping there. <laughs> 
ولبثوا في كهفهم ثلاث مئة سنين ثلاث مئة سنين وزداد تسعة They were in the stage of sleeping state of sleeping for 309 years subhanallah 309 years they were sleeping in there 309 years very very long time very very long time they were sleeping while they were sleeping they were safe and allah protected them from any kind of harm so you can imagine 309 years went away the king of the country changed the faith of the country changed a new king came who was a believer who was a muslim followers were muslim but these people they did not know allah made them woke up وكذلك بعثناهم ليتساءلوا بينهم قال قائل منهم كم لبثتم الله made them woke up after 309 years then they started asking one another one of them one of them asked others kam labistum how long had you been sleeping qalu labithna yawma qalu labithna yawman aw ba'da yaw so they answered we were sleeping for only a day or part of the day they did not realize that they were sleeping long when they could not agree or they did not know because they were believers then they said the right thing they said qalu rabbukum a'lamu bima labithtum They say to one another that your Lord, Allah knows exactly how long you have you been sleeping, how long you have been sleeping, and this is the character of believers. If they don't know anything, they don't unnecessarily argue or push their ideas in. They say Allah knows best. فَبَعَثُوا أَحَدَكُمْ بِوَرِقِكُمْ هَذِهِ إِلَى الْمَدِينَةِ فَلْيَنْظُرْ أَيُّهَا أَزْكَى طَعَامًا فَلْيَأْتِكُمْ بِرِزْقٍ مِنْهُ وَلْيَتَلَطَّ طف ولا يشعرن بكم احدا so briefly they decided to send one of them to the town to the shop with the coin the money they had with them so go carefully and then uh find some halal food buy some halal food and be careful be careful so that no one can know who you are no one can understand who you are because if they understand then we will be in danger innahum in yazharu alaykum yarjumu يرجمكم او يعيدكم في ملتهم ولن تفلحوا اذا 
ಇದನ್ನ ಬದ ಇಫ್ ದೆ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಫೈನ್ ಯು ದೆನ್ ದ ಟ್ರಬಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದೆ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟೋನ್ ಯು ಟು ಡೆತ್ ಏನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೆ ವಿಲ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಯು ಟು ಗೋ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ದೇರ್ ಐಡಲ್ ವರ್ಷಿಪಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಬಿ ವೆರಿ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲ್ ಬಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಾ ಸುಬಾನ ಹಿ ಹೆಡ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ಲಾನ್ they were trying to hide it but allah had different plan allah's plan was to expose it so the guy he went carefully to a shop and then when the shopkeeper saw so the money the shopkeeper doubted him that how come he has got money which was for long time ago who is he what is he doing here you know he became curious and then he told other people and then those people that doubted he when they thought that he had you know some secret information about secret tre- secret treasures or something because that money looked 100 years before and he was also surprised because he saw everything changed he was thinking am i dreaming am i dreaming or am i seeing the truth Am I looking at the right thing or not? How come all this thing changes? He didn't realize. Long story short, then he was captured. He was captured and then the information went to the king. And the king, he came and he came to the cave and he met all the boys. Because king was, king was a believer and then that, that story happened. the story was a motivation and was a inspiring lesson and motivation for them as believers so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa kadhalika a'rasna alayhim that we made their story known to the people li'lamu anna wa'da allah haq وَأَنَّ السَّاعَةَ لَا رَيْبَ فِيهَا So Allah made the story known to the people for the main reason to show them that Allah's promise was true in the day of resurrection or the day of judgment is true. That Allah will keep people after their death until resurrection into a sleepy state like these boys who are young people who are in the sleepy state for 309 years and after that allah woke them up so similarly after the the death people will go into a dreamy state and then when the time will come allah will resurrect them. So the king with his people went there, talked to the young people, and after that the, the young people, they lied down, and Malak al-Mawd, the death angel, came and took their soul, and they died there. So this is the brief story of young people fled to the king. They were believers, they were brave, and they could not surrender their faith to the wrong faith and as a result they choose to take the long way and the world was big enough for them they put their trust on allah they prayed to allah for help and allah helped them and through them allah made a lesson for the mankind that resurrection is true assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh